Welcome to our logs and exponents activity. We're going to start by graphing the function e to the x. We're going to go to graphing table. And we need to enter e to the x. There are two ways of doing this. In the keyboard and in the math tab, we have available e to the x. And we get e caret parenthesis, add the x, close the parenthesis. We could also, instead, go to the 2D tab. Select the 2D, e raised to a power, choose x, and when we're done putting e to the x, we hit exe. That puts a check mark in the box saying we've selected this equation. You can also use your stylus to check this box. With the box checked, we're going to hit the graph button, get a graph of e to the x. If your window doesn't look like this, go to zoom, go to standard quick standard and we should get negative 10 to 10 for both x and y values. We're going to be inspecting the derivative at points on the curve. So in order to do that, we're going to turn on our derivative slope. Tap here, go to graph format. At the very bottom we're going to select derivative slope. We're going to tap on that box to check it and set. Now, now, while we trace on our graph, it'll show us our x values, y values, and the derivative at the point we're at. To trace values, go to analysis, select trace, and we'll get a cursor on the graph of e to the x. Now we can scroll left and right using the cursor, and it'll give us an x value and a y value, and it'll give us a slope. We can also enter values press a 1, we want an x value of 1, hit OK, and we'll get an x value of 1, a corresponding y value, and slope. Notice it's 2.718 is approximately e. The students are to fill out the outputs of these functions and the slopes at those outputs, hopefully to discover that f prime of x is in fact e to the x again. We're going to check our answer by going to main. Main can be found in the hard icon panel here. We're going to differentiate e to the x with respect to x. So go to action, go to calculation, select diff. Now we have to enter e to the x again. Comma, and with respect to x, hit exe, and we get the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Now, this requires that we're in standard form. With your stylus, you can toggle between decimal and standard. If we're in decimal form when we do this, we will get a decimal approximation for e. Next, we do a similar process with the natural log of x. Let's go back to our menu application, go to graph table, and let's change this to natural log. In math, there's a natural log button of x. It's already selected, so we can just hit graph. And we can trace on this as well. The derivative is still turned on, so we can see at our points, our y values and our slope at those points. Again, we can fill out our table by selecting the numbers. So we get 0.5. OK. And we get an x value of 0.5, has a y value of negative 0.693, and a slope of 2. Hopefully, after filling this out, they can deduce that the derivative of natural log of x is, in fact, 1 over x. And we can check our answer in main. I can just highlight e to the x, change it to a natural log, hit exe, and get our derivative is 1 over x.